So now after opening the documentation page for ChatGPT, the next step is using the API for ChatGPT inside our application. And to do that, you will see a section here with the name completion. So just click on it. And there you can see this detail. So as inside our application, we want to send questions to ChatGPT and get the answer. And in order to do that, we need to use the API of ChatGPT. APIs are used for connecting to different applications. Or in other words, using API, two different applications can communicate with each other. As in our case, we want to use the features of ChatGPT inside our React Native application. And to do that, we need to use the API of ChatGPT. And this API is providing us the detail that how we can pass questions to ChatGPT model from our React Native application and how we can get the answers inside our React Native application. So, in order to pass our questions to ChatGPT model, we need to hit this URL or API inside our React Native application. And after that, we need to pass certain things. So, firstly, we need to hit this URL and then we need to pass the question that user have entered or we are asking from ChatGPT model. And we are passing this question with the key prompt here. Similarly, we are also passing the model we want to use. So for now, we are specifying that we want to use Text DaVinci 003 model. And this is one of the most powerful models of ChatGPT. Similarly, we are specifying some other things. Like here in the header, we are specifying the type of information we want to get. So when we are going to hit this URL with this information or the question, we are going to get the response inside our application. And we want to get that response in a JSON format. So JSON is a very popular format for getting data from server. So here in the header of request, we are passing the content type to application JSON. Similarly, we are also passing the authorization and here we are passing the API key that we generated earlier. So while hitting this URL, we are passing the type of response we want to get, the API key that we generated, the model we want to use, the question that we are asking, and other such things. So when we are going to hit this URL with all of this data, the information or the question will be passed to our chat GPT model and it will gonna return the result. And the results will be returned in this particular format. And we will also cover this format later. But for now, in order to pass the questions from our React Native application to ChatGPT, we need to hit this API or URL from our application. And we will start this process. So open our application. And here inside this handle button click function, we need to add the code for hitting that URL so that we can pass the question that user have entered inside our text input and get the response. So here in order to hit that API or URL, we are going to use fetch API. So basically this is an API which allow us to get information or use APIs from our React Native application. So when you will type fetch here, you will see this option. So now inside fetch, firstly we need to pass the URL that we want to hit. And in our case, this URL is this one. So just copy this URL. And after that, put it here in the first parameter. After that, inside this fetch function, the second parameter is passing an object which contains the information that we discussed earlier. So here we will pass an object and inside it, we are going to pass the parameters or the information. So as you know that we need to pass all of this data along with this URL. So here inside our application, we are going to pass the information. So firstly, we are going to pass the method that we want to use. So you can see this method parameter and we will set this method to post. So when we use APIs or hit URLs from our application, there are certain methods. The simple one is get and we use get method when we only want to get the information from a URL. And if we also want to post information 
or send information from our application then we use the method post as in our case we want to send the question that user have entered inside this text input so we are using the method to post and after that we need to specify the header and in the header we will specify the type of content we want to get in the response and the application api key so here we will use this header and inside it firstly we are going to pass the content type so you can simply copy this first line and you can paste it inside this header and after that add a quotation here and then you also need to specify it here and after specifying it we need to pass the authorization so open the documentation page again and there you can see the second parameter for header is authorization so just copy this line and open our application and here we are going to paste it so again add a quotation here and now also add it here and after doing that you need to replace this with your api key so we got our api key here so i am going to copy it and then paste it here so here make sure that you got a space between this bearer and the api key so now after doing that the parameter for the headers are completed and now the next thing is passing the body and in the body of request we are going to pass the question that user want to ask similarly we are also going to pass the model we want to use so here when you will type body you will see this option and now in this body we are going to firstly pass this prompt parameter and in this prompt we are going to pass the question that we are asking so just copy this first line and paste it here and after that you need to replace this say this is a test with the question that user is asking as in our case the question is stored inside this input message so we are going to use it so input message and that's it similarly the second parameter is the model we want to use so we will stick with this text davinci 003 so just copy it and paste it there and that's it so far now we are only passing two parameters in the body and later we are also going to explore other parameters so now inside our application when the user will gonna click on the send button we are going to call this url or hit this api and there we are passing the authorization key or the api key along with the question that user is asking so now when this code will be executed this api will be called and the question will be passed to our chat gpt model and now the next step is getting the response that our chat gpt model returned and in order to get this response we are going to use the then function so this then function will be executed when we are going to get the response so here inside this then function we are going to access the response so let's name it response and firstly we are going to convert this response into a json format so if the response is not being returned in the form of json then we are making sure that it will be converted into json so using this response.json we will convert it into json and after that using the then method again we will access that response which is surely in a json format so now inside this then function we can access the response or the data so we will name this response data and after that we are going to explore this data object later inside this course but for now when this handle button click method will be called we are hitting this api with the message or the question that user entered after that we are getting the response here so now our response is stored inside this data object and this is actually a json object which contains the information returned by our model so now before exploring this data object further we need to make one correction and that is while passing this information in the body we need to enclose it inside json.stringify so here when you will type json dot you will see the stringify function and now inside this function we need to put this code so we are going to enclose it inside the stringify and that's it
and we have done that to convert this javascript object into a string format so basically in the body we need to pass the information in the form of string and we have passed a javascript object here so in order to convert it into a string we are calling this method so now after doing that move back to the data object that we are getting in the response so now this data object is containing the result that our model has returned so for now we will simply print this information which is stored inside this data object and to do that we will use console.log so console.log and inside it we are passing this data object and that's it so now when we are going to run the application and you are going to type a question here and click on the send button then inside this handle button click method we are hitting this api and we are passing the question or the text that you typed here to our chat gpt model and our model will gonna return the result and we are showing all the data or the information that our model returned inside our locket so in order to test this functionality press ctrl s and now you can see our application is refreshed after that you can see we already got the text hello how are you here so let's click on the send button and see what is the result or the response we are getting so here in the terminal we should be able to get the response so there you can see we are getting some information in the terminal and this is basically the result that our model returned so you can see we are getting this json object here and inside it we actually got the answer and the answer is hi i am doing well how about you so far now our model is returning a lot of information along with this result but inside our application we only need to show the actual answer of our model similarly here you can type some other question like what is your name now let's click on the send button and there you can see we got the response here again and this time the answer is my name is ben so it means that inside our application we are able to successfully use this api of chat gpt and get the result and now the next step is showing this results on screen inside this text component and we are going to do that inside our next lecture so see you in the next lecture